What can companies do to address mental health problems? Look, one of the, how I always say, you know, don't try to do things by yourself. I think one of the problems that we have in mental health now is everybody, everybody's a psychologist. You know, it's ridiculous. You have no training, but you're pretending to be a psychologist. Oh, I, I can help people with their mental health problems because I've had a mental health issue. No, it doesn't work that, that way. You know, uh, it's like saying I had a broken arm. I went to the hospital. Now I'm, I'm a doctor because I had a, I've, I've got the hospital experience. It's, it's ridiculous. It, it doesn't work that yeah. way. You know, let the professionals do their job. So that, that's the first thing. The second thing is provide some good quality external training. Why external and not internal? Well, why do people provide internal training? Just to save a few bucks. And that's fair enough. We all want to save money. But the reality is that no one is a prophet in their own land. So when you bring an external consultant like WMHI, for example, what, what happens is people sit down and they're more likely to pay attention. And the people that we want to pay attention, particularly in this matter, is the managers, the management of the organization. You get management right and you get everything right. Everything unfolds from there. We're strong believers. I call it the domino effect. If you get the management right, you, you can get things working much better.